Connor, Gateshead this weekend. How's the week been for you in the group? Yeah, good. Um, obviously, we know we had a tough game last Saturday. Uh, I thought it was an excellent advert for the league. But um, another good side in Gateshead coming up. Obviously, they're um, top on all possession stats for the for the division. I know obviously Mike Williamson's left recently, but Rob Elliott's gone in there and they had a massive result on Saturday, obviously beating Dorkin 6-0. So we know it's going to be a tough game. You mentioned there, obviously, a big win for them on Saturday. What's it that they're in the playoff positions at the minute? What sort of challenge can we expect from them tomorrow? They're a brilliant side. Um, I think if you look back to last season, played them three times in our competition and drew every game. Um, obviously lost on pens in the end, but yeah, we drew every game in normal time, so it shows how tough they had to play against. They're a brilliant side. They got a lot of movement in the top end, uh, try and obviously play through the third, so it should be an entertaining game for the neutral, definitely. I just want to talk about Don Revan. Obviously, last year he had a tough season with injuries, started this season to have a lone, a lone move out. Uh, he's been playing right wing back last couple of games. He's really excelled this season so far. He's been brilliant to be fair to him. He's, um, he came back focused and hungry. He came back fit. Um, obviously, had to had to buy his time a little bit at the start of the season. He went playing. Obviously, went out on loan, which was good for him. Um, and since he's come back, to be fair, he came back match fit and he's looked ready and sharp. So it's since he's been at the club, I think this is the best the best period he's had with us. Obviously, uh, pleased for him. He's gone out on loan. He works hard. He's no trouble. He's, um, as he comes in every day and does the right thing, so he's a pleasure to have around the place, and it's it's nice to see him perform well on the pitch now as well and getting his rewards. Obviously, and we've signed Gary Hooper recently. He's been slowly coming on second half, making a good impact. Got a couple of late goals for us. How's he with his uh, fitness at the minute? And could we potentially see him starting any time soon? Uh, yeah, he's getting fitter. Obviously, the more the weeks go on, the fitter he's got, fitter he's going to get. Uh, as you touched on, he's come on, he's scored important goals for us. Not only that, he brings a lot of quality in the top end. He's um, he's great to have around the place. A lot of people are learning off him, obviously, from his experience. So he's a big asset, not just on the pitch but off the pitch as well. And hopefully, we can get him fitter and fitter, and obviously, we'll see more minutes from him. And obviously, finally, I know we've picked up a few knocks in the last couple of games. Is there any update to the team who's ahead of tomorrow? No, no, the, the squad's looking good. We're looking strong. Obviously, we had a, we had a few people back last Saturday against Chesterfield, so that was a positive. And we'll just keep moving forward. The numbers we've got, um, there's no no fresh injury concerns since then. So we're in a good place, and we'll, we'll be putting out a strong team here. Yeah. Connor, thank you for your time. Cheers.